Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. John 10 verse 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. Genesis 2 verse 7 Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. Psalm 36 verse 9 For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we see light. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life, you will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. John 11 verses 25 to 26 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Proverbs 3 verses 7 to 8 Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Psalm 119 verse 93 I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14 For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Psalm 23 verse 1 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 2 but now, this is what the Lord says He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. 
Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16. Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Romans 8 verse 11 And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his Spirit who lives in you. Psalm 71 verses 20 to 21 Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once more. Isaiah 57 verse 15 For this is what the High and Exalted One says he who lives forever, whose name is Holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with the One who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. John 14 verse 6 Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Psalm 107 verse 20 He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Romans 6 verse 4 We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Psalm 30 verse 5 For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Psalm 119 verse 50 My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. 
2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Psalm 118 verse 17. I will not die but live and will proclaim what the Lord has done. Proverbs 4 verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Ephesians 3 verse 20 Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. 2 Samuel 22 verse 31 As for God, his way is perfect, the Lord's word is flawless, he shields all who take refuge in him. Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2 Truly my soul finds rest in God, my salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8 to 9 We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 15 He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Isaiah 12 verse 2 Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 40 verse 11 He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Hebrews 4 verse 16 
Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Matthew 19 verse 26 Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Psalm 18 verse 32 It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Isaiah 26 verse 4 Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Isaiah 43 verse 19 See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Isaiah 54 verse 10 Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Psalm 18 verse 2 the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 58 verse 11 the Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 119 verse 114 you are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 62 verses 5 to 8. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Psalm 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 121 verses 7 to 8 The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Isaiah 43 verse 4 since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16 
because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isaiah 12 verse 3 With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Psalm 119 verse 25 I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise in God, I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 107 verses 19 to 20 Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Philippians 4 verse 4 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. 2 Samuel 22 verse 33 It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Psalm 18 verse 28 you, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. Psalm 37, verse 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Psalm 121, verse 3. He will not let your foot slip, he who watches over you will not slumber. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Matthew 6 verses 25 to 26 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Proverbs 16 verse 9 In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Psalm 119 verse 149 Hear my voice in accordance with your love, Preserve my life, Lord, according to your laws. Isaiah 40 verses 28 to 29 Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Psalm 121 verse 5 The Lord watches over you, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24 The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, 
whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Psalm 31 verse 24 Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Psalm 55 verses 16 to 17 As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see.